Okay, I'm really excited about this because I was not expecting to receive this. We are using today the Raw Beauty Christie Pure Collaboration. I'm excited. We got a eyeshadow palette and then two lashes. It is a double-sided palette. So it's called the, I think it's called the Duality. Well, it doesn't say on the palette, but I believe, yeah, the Duality Collection. See, bomb, love it. Her makeup in that is pretty fly. So yeah, anyway. Oh, I like this little like a leaflet thing. Quite nice. You guys all know uh, Raw Beauty, Raw, Raw Beauty Christie. If you don't like check her out, she's one of the, one of the legit ones, you know, who talks like, who talks the way she talks. I respect it. We have the colorful side right here. Very pretty, nice, nine. Nine shadow pan. Can you focus on the fucking palette, bro? So that's quite nice. Interesting colors. I'm into it. I'm into it. I like the, uh, I love this kind of packaging, by the way, the paper palettes that are matte. Legit. And then we have the neutral side. So we've got some nudes and then we also have, you know, some nice colors too. So it's not just like a boring neutral, but obviously like it's one in one palette. So you can kind of like flip back and forth for what you need. So what I was thinking about, mm, I don't really know what I'm gonna do here actually. I was kind of thinking that I would do the colorful shadows on one side and then the neutral shadows on another, just cause like, why not, you know? And just keep them like the same style, I guess. So I'm gonna start off with the neutral side. Uh, so I'm gonna prime my lids using my Anastasia Beverly Hills primer. I'm gonna take a little bit of that underneath. Dude, all my brushes are dirty. I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna start off with uh, Camelot, this yellow shade. And then, um, cause I want I'm just like interested in like the colorful shades. You know what I mean? I guess this isn't really neutral. It's kind of neutral. Anyway, I'm gonna start off with Camelot. Wait, should I start off with Camelot? Yeah, I'm gonna start off with Camelot and then probably go into this guy right here. So I really, I was not expecting to receive this because like, I think occasionally I've received PR from Pure. So when the package came in, I was like, okay, this is exciting. Did you guys get this palette? Cause uh, I know the like website totally crashed or whatever. That's a lovely, that's a lovely mustardy orangey kind of yellow. It's blending quite nicely. This is called Camelot by the way. Did I say that? I mean, this is a really expensive brush too, but <laughs> but um, that uh, shadow is blending so beautifully. So I'm gonna take this pretty much all the way up to my brow. So I'm starting off in the crease and then I'm just gonna take it like all the way up. I want a nice wash of this color. Beautiful, love it. This is the kind of um, eyeshadow color that I would wear just all over my lid, just as like one shadow. I guess I'm into yellow. I love um, how it looks as it fades. There's like a diff there's like a difference between um, like where the color it just becomes like much more rich and deep when you build it up a little bit more and then it fades out really nicely, just like a pretty wash. I love that. All right, now I am going to grab it just does, which is the kind of pinky salmony shade. There also there isn't like a ton of fallout or uh, what do you want to call that? Not fallout. Um, kickback when I like dip my brush in. There's a little bit, but the shadows feel like really, really fine, like finely milled and very silky. And then I'm gonna build this up, this up. They're blending very easily. Mm. Those two colors look really beautiful together. I love that. Okay, I'm gonna grab the, I don't know, a Morphe brush and pick up this color right here, like warm brown, caramely brown. It's called Told You. And I'm gonna build this up on the outer corner. These are very, very rich, very rich, but like very blendable. I'm actually very impressed by the amount of pigment that goes down while maintaining the blendability. Like it's incredibly soft looking, which isn't an easy thing to do. It's very hard to have uh, pigments that are pigmented, like lots of payoff, that don't have a ton of like chunky fallout, you know? I'm also, I'm not that familiar with pure, like I've used some things, but um, wow, that's so pretty. It's blending so nicely. I'm gonna grab uh, Copper Boxes, this shade right here. 
and I think I'm gonna use actually this brush that I used the like salmon -y color and just kind of define this part of the crease coming inward. So just into my eye socket. I really love how all these colors work together. Oof. I think I'm gonna extend told you a little more halfway onto the lid, maybe a little bit more than halfway. So I have something to blend the shimmer into. And then, oh man, I really like that color. And then using that same brush, I'm just gonna flip it around. I'm gonna pick up, uh, <laughs> you're not my real dad. You guys always love to um, reference that when I talk about how I dress like a dad. And I'm gonna use this right there. So easy to use. Took like two minutes to do just that. All right, now I'm taking um, a flat brush and then I'm gonna pick up Golden Ticket, which looks like a really pretty, like neutrally gold. It's actually, it's got quite a bit of peach. See how this goes on with a brush. So I'm gonna place this on the inner. Okay. Stunning. On the inner corner, or inner part, whatever you wanna call this, inner part of the lid. And then like focusing the majority of the uh, shimmer and the pigment on the most, the innermost part and then slowly tapping it into that like pretty cognac shade. Can't remember what it's called. Told you. Mm. Well, that's a stunningly beautiful eye if I do say so myself. Uh, I'm gonna flip before we do the lower lash line to the other side and I'm gonna try to make uh, this look good together. We shall see. So um, let's start off with, I love that she included this white because you can mix the white with any of the other shades to tone them down, to make them lighter uh, and create like a pastel-y color because these are all quite dark. So if you want to create like more of a blending shade for any of the other colors, you don't just have to go in with like the yellow because it's the most uh, light like transition or whatever. Maybe we should do that. I'm gonna keep with my like color theme a little bit. Is that what I wanna do? Fuck. So yeah, so I'm gonna, uh, blah. I'm gonna mix the white with the pink. Yeah. Just cause you know. So that's called si side, effect, si side effect. And uh, lum Lumos, Lumos, Lumos. Is that a Harry Potter reference? Uh, anyway, so what I'm gonna do is just tap back and forth between the two shades. Do the same thing I did on the other side. Just start building it up like kind of in the crease and then, you know, up to the brow bone. And then I'm gonna grab just the pink and then start building that up. It's very pigmented. All right, I'm gonna wipe that off a little bit. Start blending, start blending. I'm gonna include a little bit of that yellow. So I'm actually gonna use the same brush that I used on the other side. And I'm gonna pick up Dandelion, just cause this is like so cool toned. I, can't, I want them to work together, you know? And then I'm just gonna use this on the um, uppermost part of my eye. So we're kind of creating like a little bit more of a peachy color. Yeah, that brings a little more um, warmth into it. Um, okay, now I'm gonna grab the red, this guy right here, which is, what is this called? Flavor Town. I'm gonna place this on the outer part Basically like the way we used that, I think it's called Told You So, that like cognac shade. So placing it, focusing it on the outer part and then kind of like building it into the center of the lid. These are so beautiful. I mean, they blend so nicely. I'm really impressed by that. Cause the side is like a little bit too light and I'm gonna blend this up a little more. And then using that same brush, flipping it around like we did with the other one, I'm gonna pick up Tribute, the purple. Deepen up this part. I'm gonna grab this orangey color right here, this orange, which is, am I orange? And then I'm gonna do what I did with the other one, just defining like this part of the socket. And then once again, with a little flat brush, I'm gonna pick up uh, Cafe Disco, which is the shimmer in this palette, which is like a little bit more of a cool toned kind of pinky. I don't know how well you guys can see it. It's like kind of neutral, a little bit more on the pinky side uh, with kind of like a icy silver reflect. Same thing. 
Um, okay, so now for the lower lash line on this part. Actually, I'm gonna start off with the darkest shade. You're not my real dad. And uh, on like a little sort of flat shader brush and focus this on the outer corner all along the lash line. So starting on the outer corner and then bringing it into the lash line. So let's just go back and forth so that hopefully it stays even. <laughs> So I'm gonna flip back to the colorful side and I'm gonna go in with the like blue shade, which is Hurtful. Do the same thing, focus it on the outer corner. I need liners in my waterline, man. Mm, teeny little bit of fallout, but like hardly anything. Yeah, like literally nothing. Actually, let me bring this up. I'm hoping that this blue and that purple um, blend together nicely. I'm gonna bring it like right there and then I'm gonna switch. I'm literally gonna use the same brush. I'm just gonna wipe it off and I'm gonna switch to that purple and just like try to blend that. Um, I'm gonna use a fluffier brush and I'm gonna grab copper boxes, this guy. This is, we're back to the neutral side. <laughs> and actually, do I wanna do, no, that's too weird. Let's just do copper boxes. And I'm going to sweep that along my eye bag, blending into that brown. And then I'm gonna go into Camelot once again. Same brush. Um, one more. Just smoking. Perfection, love it. Okay, now, now for the other side, I'm gonna grab, oh, I don't know. I'm gonna mix these two, the purple and the pink shade, to blend along my under eye bag. Um, and then I'm gonna do the same thing I did up here. Is that what I want to do? I'm gonna grab that pink, just the pink. Blend over all of this. <sighs> I'm gonna mix the pink and the white on the tip of that little angled brush. And I'm gonna kind of like focus it right in here. And then a little bit underneath. Yeah, I just wanted to lighten that up a little bit. And then I'm gonna grab another little blending brush and I'm gonna grab Dandelion, the yellow shade, to bring a little bit of that warmth from the top to the bottom. Let's put something in the waterline because this is bothering me. So uh, for my waterline on this side, I'm gonna use this dark purple from ColourPop, which is, what's this called? This is the cream gel liner in Piggy Bank. Uh, I'm gonna use Melt All Day Everyday Eyeliner in the shade Rose Lens. Yeah, it's a little too light. Uh, I'm actually gonna go over that with Pat McGrath Blitz Brown. Um, okay, so I just like threw on some highlight and a nude lip. Part of the collection includes two false lashes. So we have Can't Be Bothered and Lovely. So Can't Be Bothered is kind of like a little more spiky. It has like two layers. You probably can't, oh, you might be able to see it right there. Two layers that are like a little bit more straight and uh, like a top, a shorter top layer that kind of like flares out. Those are really cool, but they are very, very, like the bottom layer is very, very straight. So I don't, those don't like, speak to me immediately, but I will try them at some point. Uh, but Lovely is like very curled and I love the way they look. So these are just really pretty. I love the way those look. You can see how curled they are. I just feel like it'll give like a really nice lift to the eye. They're also very long, so you probably will like long this way. So you probably will have to trim them, uh, but they're gonna fit more eye shapes that way. So I am going to pop on some mascara and these lashes and then we'll be right back. All right, so these are the lashes. They are definitely not meant to be natural. <laughs> they are long as shit, but they are very, very glamorous. Um, I love like the curl to them, but the I'm, I think they look stunning, but like these are lashes that I would never wear. Like I just wouldn't anymore, unless it was Halloween maybe, or I was recreating like a face chart or something. So if you are not used to glam, like they're very long, very, very much a statement. Uh, but I do like them a lot. They're pretty fantastic. Also, I'm wearing like 17 different colors on my lips because I could not pick something that I liked. Anyway, so that's it. <sighs> I highly recommend this palette. I think it's beautiful. I'm not like so wild about what I did on this eye, but I think it has more to do with like, I don't know, just the difference in colors. Like I love, that's obviously like perfection. It took like five minutes. Like this eye was so quick. It was so easy to blend. The shades are like incredibly pigmented, easy to blend. They kind of just like melt into the skin. Like if you look up close, I just feel like they 
it just melts melted into the skin you know like the blend looks so beautiful to me i don't know i'm just comparing like that's like a that's a pretty baller colorful smoky eye um when i you know compare it to or this side i'm like you know what i mean but yeah i love it i think they're fucking beautiful i love them they blended so beautifully they're stay like the everything i think it's fantastic i also um i've never been a fan of like dual palettes before and i don't know why but this one is actually quite nice i feel like a lot of the dual palettes that i've used have been just like very very thick and it's not really like it's a it's a really nice size uh the amount of shadows is good i like that each has a shimmer um i would be really interested in using this white just kind of like all over the lid I, i've been meaning to do that for a really long time i need to play a little bit more but anyway highly recommend it i think it's fantastic the lashes are a little much for me personally but uh i mean they are pretty you know so if you're into them definitely check those out. Cruelty free, talc free, paraben free, gluten free, petroleum free, mineral oil free, vegan friendly. What the fuck is that? Sodium lori sulfate free. I don't know, even know what that is, but it doesn't have it. So that's good. Wow. All right, cool. So yeah, highly recommend when they do a restock. I'm hoping they do a restock because I know they, I'm assuming that they sold out. I know they like broke the website basically. Pick it up. Pretty fucking baller. Congrats, Christy. Check that shit out <laughs> that's it i haven't done a review video video in a really long time but i wanted to review this so i'm gonna go take pictures of my face now